Mr. Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurid Labajasex, the military is receiving tremendous support from the federal government, especially the approval of backlog of insurance payments for families of fallen heroes who paid the supreme price. He says the troops must reciprocate the gesture by assuring their loyalty to the constitution. He's also urging them to make a responsible use of social media or face disciplinary actions. We must continue to remain loyal. Loyalty is to the constitution of the Federal Republic and to the government of the day. We must live within the rules of the host communities and even the state where you work. He calls for an asymmetric approach to curbing the challenges of insecurity in the southeast, especially the mandate sit at home, which he says demands the collaboration of all relevant stakeholders, including market unions. So we need other stakeholders to come on board to completely address this threat. So we are talking with the other stakeholders. The issue of uh, sit at home is being addressed, but we need to move quickly forward. And so we need the understanding of other stakeholders, the market groups, the youth groups, and even the government at every level. And so we will work with these stakeholders while we continue to deploy the military line of effort to address this sit at home threat. The Chief of Army Staff later paid a courtesy call on the Governor of Abia State, Alex Oti. The governor appreciated the role that the army played in restoring peace in Umunuchi, especially at the cattle markets and other parts of the state, as well as the success so far achieved with Operation Crush. So we really use this opportunity to publicly thank you for the support that you have given us. Uh, because uh, if you didn't give the support, uh, the success that people are talking about today would not have happened. So uh, we are very, very grateful. We have worked together with the military as partners and brothers. Nora Okafor, Arise News.